Okay, so I'm back. Uh, system's finished the cycle. I've got the lines hooked up. It is, uh, it's ready to try this. So let's see, this valve needs to be teed to there. This valve needs to be open. This valve is teed up to there. And this valve needs to be open because I'm bypassing the motor or the cycle. So the liquid will come down here. Now, oop, this valve needs to be open. Down, down, over, up, and uh, back all the way through there. All right, I'm going to start with, with, uh, yeah, I guess it's ready to start. So, um, see what happens. Turn on the water. Oh, well, first leak is on my hose connection because that sucks. All right, I'm going to turn okay. this off and try it again. So I've tightened the hose bib connections and then because I wanna, don't want to deal with the hose on its own thing, I've closed this valve and I've closed. Well, let me go ahead and get that. There we go. So this valve is closed and this valve is closed. I've closed both of these valves. Uh... Actually, no, that's not close. Water will come down and it'll go. Yeah, so this valve, this valve is correct. This valve is closed. Got the other camera where I'm filming. I've closed this valve here, not this one. So flow to there, that's closed. So I don't have to worry about seeing if that's leaking. And then right now, this, this valve is closed here. So I'm gonna repressurize the hose see if the hose leaks because that's not the only thing I'm worried about just in the rest of the system so god no noise at all hose is now on this hose is completely pressurized that was anticlimactic wasn't it so all right let's turn this on and see what happens pull on water's flowing through there I don't see a leak here. I don't see a leak there yet. I should take that instruction manual out of there. I don't see any leaks on my solder joints yet. So fluid, fluid, fluid. Coming in here. No leaks there yet. Man, I can hear air just blasting out of that thing up top. Can you hear that? That thing's venting the air out of the system right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this to let it push air out through the drain as well. So, okay, so we're kind of coming up to speed. No leaks. No leaks there, no leaks there. Ow, step over the hose without tearing the shit apart. No leaks. Not seeing any leaks anywhere yet. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. I'm hearing little cricks and pops, but I think it's air venting out of the system. And this is just water is just blasting like crazy. I think at this point what I'm doing is I'm it's filling the water heater, so nothing's gonna flow through. So that's gonna take a few minutes. But uh, so far, so good. It's air being blown out of the system while the water heater fills. <laughs> well, this is blowing water out like a sieve. And it's irritating as hell, at least the pressure. So... I need to take a look at the stats and see if I've done something wrong with that unit. I don't think it should be venting like that. Um, unless I'm wrong, I gotta, I gotta look that up. Something's, something's jacked, so yay. But none of the other things seem to be leaking. Uh, there's water freaking everywhere from that, but 
Oh, no. But, uh, yeah, water leaking from that. But all in all, I'm, I'm okay with it at the moment. Okay, so um, first things first, in my previous video, I said that this was an 80 gallon tank. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking or smoking or what, I have no idea. This is a 36 gallon tank. Um, so 80 is right out. <clears throat> anyway, now that that correction has been cleared up, uh, the good news is that's my current output temperature. Uh, this is set at 125 degrees, or excuse me, 130 degrees, I think is what I have it set at. Uh, so if I ever hit the red needle, then something's wrong. Uh, this is out, coming out, and I'm running at uh, just under 14, just under 15 PSI, and my output temperature is right about 100 degrees. And that's because it's actually operating right now. Uh, my input temperature is right about 100 degrees. The system is running. Zone two is calling for heat. My primary motor is on. My zone two secondary motor is on. It's set on low. This is set on medium. And yes, those motors are running. That's how quiet they are. The only way I can tell that they're physically running is I gotta put my hand on it to try and feel the vibration. Uh, and of course the heat coming off of it because uh, they get warm, not from running, but from the water circulating through. So like this pipe is nice and hot. Uh, this pipe is hot. This pipe is a little cooler. I've adjusted my bleep, my mixer valve uh, to bypass just a little bit of it and send most of it over here. Uh, so we're coming through the system. It's actually operating right now. My input temperature going into zone two is was it just a little over uh, 105 degrees or so? And coming out, it's quite a bit cooler, about 80 degrees. So the uh, the water right now, I haven't put the glycol in yet. Um, I'm still in the pressure test phase mode and also the glycol water mixture. I don't have it here yet, so I have to still have to install that. But it's everything's circulating. Everything's running through, uh, no leaks. Uh, other than that leak um, on the previous video, so I was dealing with some leaks and the problem turned out to be this yellow um, Teflon tape and that I don't I'm not worried about that. That's a relief valve and I'll get that fixed later on um, but Every place that I use the yellow Teflon tape. I can't tell you the name brand. I don't know. I don't remember but every place that I used the yellow Teflon tape ended up leaking like a sieve. I ended up replacing the yellow Teflon tape with Blue Monster Teflon tape. And in some places I did a little bit of Blue Monster Teflon tape and some Blue Monster pipe dope, depending upon what the connection was. And so yeah, I'm calling out that brand. Once I changed from the cheapo yellow brand whatever the hell it is, to the Blue Monster brand. Stuff actually worked. No, I'm not getting paid. I don't get any callbacks from them. It's just a product I love. So there you go. System's operational. Primary zone, or excuse me, primary zone, zone two is my primary, which is weird. Secondary zone, zone one. Uh, I guess primary and secondary is not the right terms. Priority zone, zone two. Standard zone, zone one. Right now, because zone two is set to priority, it will not get heat into zone one until zone two hits its temperature. Uh, primary pump, everything's working. No leaks, everything's operating. Looks like we've, we've got heat. Yay.